हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द अजोर स्टोरेज वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द अजोर स्टोरेज सो वी शुड नो अबाउट वॉट आर दी फीचर्स और वॉट आर दी सर्विस ऑफरिंग फ्रॉम द अजोर स्टोरेज एंड दैट वी कैन यू यूटिलाइज इन योर प्रोडक्शन इन वाइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द अजोर स्टोरेज टाइप देन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिडेंडेंसी ऑफ द अजोर स्टोरेज लाइक यू नो वी शुड नो दैट वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट सम एप्लीकेशन एंड एनी सर्विस दैट दैट यूटिलाइजिंग द अजोर स्टोरेज अकाउंट टू स्टोर द डेटा सो इन दैट केस सो वॉट विल बी द रिडेंडेंसी सो माई एप्लीकेशन हाउ हाउ कैन आई कैन मेक माई एप्लीकेशन इज हाईली अवेलेबल सो फॉर दैट मैटर वी नीड टू नो दैट यू नो वॉट आर द ऑफरिंग्स फ्रॉम द अजूर फॉर द रिडेंडेंसी ऑफ द डेटा द नेक्स्ट इज हाउ 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 वी विल गेट द स्टोरेज अकाउंट एंड हाउ वी कैन यू नो क्रिएट द स्टोरेज अकाउंट एंड वॉट विल बी द स्टोरेज अकाउंट टाइप अवेलेबल अवेलेबल इन द अजूर पोर्टल so that uh, we can uh, utilize those thing uh, the third uh, thing is that how we can access the uh, azure blob data uh, from the uh, azure portal what are the option available so we will discuss about that and next part is that how we can uh, uh, control the access uh, on the uh, storage account and how we can you know control um, i mean you know security point of view how we can you know protect our data so that we can you know provide the access to the appropriate person uh, depend on the our uh, uh, requirement in a, uh, in, a, in a, uh, our production environment so uh, let's discuss one by one let's start with the azure storage account if you want know, to talk about the azure storage account so basically uh, in azure storage account uh, you uh, you are able to uh, create uh, azure uh, blob storage uh, he, uh, so that you can you know utilize a blob storage to store uh, random data uh, uh, in a blob storage uh, next type is that uh, azure uh, file storage so in file storage generally we can uh, it's and uh, uh, everyone know about the you know file servers in uh, on premises so this is the same replica for but uh, these object are on the cloud so that uh, you can uh, access uh, the data those are uh, or on the uh, azure file storage uh, from the anywhere uh, from the world wide in a queue storage yeah uh, like uh, a queue is basically used for the messaging purpose so whenever you want to utilize the uh, um, storage account as a messaging uh, uh, mediator so that in that case you can use the uh, uh, azure uh, queue storage next is azure table storage so basically uh, if you have the data that is uh, uh, no sql data so that you, you can uh, put down into the azure st uh, table storage so that uh, you can utilize the uh, services uh, offer from the microsoft azure storage next is uh, more important things uh, about the uh, azure dx uh, so it's uh, nothing but the your uh, uh, managed dx that you are going to utilize to uh, map or attach those uh, uh, azure dx uh, as an uh, your data disk on the vm so uh, in that case you can utilize the uh, azure uh, dx storage so after discussing about the storage account the next uh, uh, thing that we are going to discuss is that the redundancy how we will get our more redundancy uh, from the azure end while we are keeping our most important data on the azure platform so if you talk about the redundancy so there are two type of redundancy as of now like first is uh, redundancy at the primary site like you know whatever you use primary site like you east us uh, west us or you are uh, you know europe area or uh, in asian area wherever you are you know putting your primary site of your data that is your primary site uh, primary region so uh, in that case you know what are the uh, options available for the redundancy in the primary site uh, as well as we are going to discuss about the redundancy in the secondary site like you know pairing site for your uh, primary regions if we talk about the uh, primary region so in a primary region uh, we will get uh, the uh, locally redundant storage so uh, in this case you know your data will uh, 
three times uh, uh, stores in the uh, same region next is the zone redundant uh, uh, storage so like uh, your data will be stored in uh, same zone uh, uh, like you know multiple of a three copy so uh, these are the two uh, uh, features available on the primary side let's discuss about the what are the option available on your uh, pairing uh, region uh, for uh, your uh, data so if you talk about the pairing data so there is a geo redundant storage it's a geographical redundant storage so the name of the storage of, uh, account is uh, telling you more uh, um, about the what what exactly it, it is so in a geo redundant uh, your data will be stored on the primary side uh, on the three uh, copies of the data and uh, simultaneously on the pairing side it will you know copy the data uh, uh, you know, across the uh, geography so that you know if your particular primary side goes completely down so you sh uh, you should get you know access on your data that is synchronously uh, syncing in between the primary side and secondary side uh, next type is a uh, geo zone redundant storage uh, this is nothing but the combination of the zone redundant storage and the uh, geo redundant storage so that in the case you know your data will be you know stored on the primary side uh, on the three copy of the data and the uh, it will you know uh, sync with your secondary side uh, uh, across the geo on a zone basis so that you will get you know more uh, uh, redundancy for your data and next two types is the read, read only things uh, uh, for the uh, your data those are uh, syncing uh, uh, you know syncing uh, in a primary side and secondary so basic difference uh, is that you know when when we are going to you know configure the geo redundant or zone redundant in that case you will not get any access uh, on the, your secondary copy of the data but if you use the read only uh, uh, grs or read only uh, uh, um, you know jrs uh, G, uh, GRS so in that case uh, you will get uh, the access or uh, read only uh, copy so that you can you know find out that you know what uh, what are the data is saying uh, so that that's the feasibility you will get okay the uh, next topic uh, that we are going to discuss about like we we know that you know uh, uh, what are the storage type is available and uh, what are the redundancy that we will get uh, from the uh, Azure services uh, now the uh, uh, we will discuss about the uh, type of the Azure storage account so like you know how many type of storage account we can you know, create on the uh, Azure portal so let's discuss about that so yeah the first uh, um, account type is a general purpose v1 account so basically you know it's under the older version of the a storage account and microsoft not recommend you to you know use this account so generally we all the uh, 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 all the people who are dealing in a production environment they generally use uh, general purpose version 2 account so that uh, you will get a more feature and however the uh, general purpose version 1 will not you know uh, taking care of the upcoming new feature or the what are the new feature available in the azure uh, apart from these two uh, we have the blob storage so that uh, if you create the blob storage account so you will get the order the blob storage related uh, things uh, that available in the blob storage so you can you know utilize rather than going for the you know per, uh, general purpose uh, uh, one or general purpose two so basically it's uh, categorized in between these uh, two things so, so basically blob account is only for the storing the blobs next uh, next account is the file storage account uh, as i said earlier you know it's the uh, file services uh, uh, available on the cloud environment so that uh, you can you know uh, share the um, um, uh, you know general path of the file shares uh, using the smb protocol so that you can attach those drive to the vms or your application uh, and uh, that can be you know accessible from uh, anywhere from the worldwide let's think nothing that uh, you have created the uh, you know about the storage account you know the redundancy you know how to uh, uh, what are the you know, storage type available in the azure 
now discuss about the tears for the uh, um, stair, uh, stairs about the blob and blob data like you know what are the uh, tears available and how we can you know, utilize and in which case we can utilize which tears so uh, in in uh, uh, in a, a storage account uh, so these are the three uh, basic uh, tiers like you know these are the only tiers available as of now like you know hot storage so what i ba basically is the hot storage so hot storage whenever uh, your data is uh, uh, accessible frequently that time you can utilize the uh, hot storage tiers like you know what so that uh, your data will be uh, utilized um, uh, multiple times in a day the second is the uh, cold storage like in you know, a cool storage so whenever uh, you want to uh, uh, you want to you know store your backup related data or any data that is not accessible uh, randomly or you know frequently so in that case we can you know go for the cold storage account so we can uh, uh, we can you know uh, optimize our cost on some level so next is archive data like uh, whenever the data is uh, we can set the policy for the data so that uh, after you know certain time you want to you know archive some kind of data like you know logs of your, your application you know after 10 days 50 day and then you want to you know archive those kind of data so that we can uh, use the archive tiers so that uh, we can uh, optimize our cost in that level because you know these are the uh, less cost compared to the hot access tier now next is that how we can control access on the storage account if you know talk about the access level so we can utilize the azure active directory uh, to access your uh, uh, data uh, those are available on the azure storage the second thing is that uh, generally you know everyone use that you know shared access uh, uh, key authorization like you know if you have the uh, uh, shared key uh, from that particular storage account so you can utilize those, uh, those share key so that you will get access on the uh, storage account and next uh, is the uh, shared access signature like you know if you want to you know provide uh, a certain time uh, uh, access on your data uh, for the certain a certain period like you know one day two days or in you know, a couple of hours so that you can you know generate the share access signature you know we can you know generally call as you know sas key so that uh, you can provide those keys so what are the uh, uh, the, uh, the setting that you have applied during creating this uh, key like you know uh, read access or write access or you know full access on the storage so that uh, and the duration of, for that particular key so till that duration uh, who whomever you are you know, going to you know uh, share that key so that person will access the data according to the settings that you have apply and they can you know, access the storage account so that's it for uh, this particular video uh, in next video we are going to uh, uh, you know explore all these options how we can you know configure the storage account how can we you, you, utilize the storage account as well as uh, we can you know uh, see some scenario where uh, and how we can you know utilize the storage account on the production environment thank you so much guys for listening me and i hope you like